What you are about to hear is another prophecy from the prophet who prophesied Japan's judgments of God 16 years prior to March 11, 2011. www.dailymotion.com Prophecy to Japan 16 years prior to 2011. Jesus declares World War III on sinners worldwide. God is pissed off at sinners worldwide. Therefore, he has officially declared the start of WW3 on Earth. It is not being started by Russia, ISIS, Israel, or any other Azarian mafia breed of greed and genocide regimes, but by God Almighty, i.e. Jesus Christ who is the sinner's hypocrite's greatest terrorist. The world is ignoring his worldwide call and command to repent of sinning. This call began November 19, 2013. God has no more options of general mercy and patience with sinners on earth. Therefore, he resorts to getting the big stick out, and beating sinners to death in most cases, in hopes that some may finally cave in and repent. I speak unto thee this day, and I say there is none that is lacking, for I the living God do supply. That is, it is me, the living God, who is able to provide, to supply for my own, to bring them forth. And it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who serve me exactly what they need. Therefore, I say, when you hear a man, a woman, who is full of complaint, know they are full of the darkness of their own way. For I say that I, the living God, never withhold from my people exactly what they need to be brought forth in me. For I say that I give unto them again and again and again tender mercy, and indeed they are uplifted and guided by me. And I say that I give unto them such as they need, for I am well able to supply. And I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed give forth to the ones who obey the way wherein they are kept in my way. But I say to the ones who have turned aside, gone according, and traveled after that, which I never intended, nor did I provide, where do they end? I say they end in a heap, they end up destitute of soul, then I say they are full of complaining against me. But I say they are the fools who did not use what it was that I provide. But I say instead they turn to the ways the gods of the heathen, only to end destitute of soul. Now I say this day you are living in times when multitudes are far from me. I say that they use my name in vain, but they do not serve me. For I say they are serving idols, they are serving darkness, they are serving their own way. I say that I the living God never called you to be serving darkness, to be walking in a way that is far from me. But I say that I have called you to walk uprightly in me, to be guided forth and directed each day. For I say it is me the living God who is indeed the way that is righteousness, truth, mercy, light and peace provided. Therefore I say this day be thankful, be thankful, be thankful for what it is that I give unto my own. For I say it is me the living God who does give the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and light, and the way that is peace provided. And I say when a people will be ever cleaving unto me, believing in me, then I say they are guided forth by me. For I say it is me the living God who is well able to purpose the ones who will please me in the way of eternal life. But I say that the ones who choose to please themselves are choosing the way of wrath, the way of death, the way of damnation. Now I say this day it is really very simple, that a man can choose me, walk uprightly in me, and be kept by me. Or I say that a man can choose against me, choose his own way, and end up in destruction. For I say when any will be insistent and persistent in their own way, they are choosing the way of a fool. But I say when any man or woman will wait upon me, desire my wisdom, then I say they are guided by me. Now I say if you give in to the anxious thoughts within you, I say if you give in to the fear of men, I say if you give in to the signs of the times, you give in to lies. But I say when you yield to me, you are yielding to truth, you are walking in light, and I say you are alive in me. I say this day be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, that you do not need to be herded with the swine who end in despair. For I say there are many who are unclean beasts before me, and they have no desire to be cleansed by me. Now I say such ones as these will go on in their wretchedness and end in a heap of destitution of despair. But I say that the ones who will seek my face, my counsel, I say that they will be guided forth by me. And yes, they will be given the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. And yes, they will be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in my way. 
For I say there is no good thing that I, a living God, will withhold from the ones who will be purposed in me. For I say that I will direct, correct, and instruct them and guide them forth. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to live in a place of weariness and dreariness, but I say that I call you to live in the joy that is found in me. And I say you are not meant to be living in the fear of men or what it is that they can do to thee, but I say you are meant to be respecting me. That is, by fearing to displease me and likewise falling under wrath. For I say there are multitudes in this generation, they are wise in their own conceit. They think that I cannot live without them. And I say they give themselves over to wickedness and likewise incur my wrath. Then I say when they are found in the heap that they brought about by their own disobedience and disrespect towards me, they want to blame and accuse me. But I say they are the fools who have literally been taken in their folly, and they will be devoured in the same. But I say that I, the living God, do not call you to folly, but I say that I call you to be faithful unto me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that in me you are given the light, the truth, and the mercy that I provide. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely do not withhold any good thing from the ones who will hear me, obey me, and walk uprightly in me. But I say that I am ever present to give to my own the strength, the truth, the light, the blessedness that I provide. Therefore I say even now be glad that it is me that you can be looking unto, that it is me that you can be serving. And I say be thankful that I the living God will guide you forth by a plain path day after day. I say when the ones claiming to be blind get eyes full of adultery, then I say they behave themselves as fools. And I say they go whoring all to their own destruction and despair. I say that I, the living God, do not call you to be found guilty of boredom, guilty of spiritual adultery against me. But I say that I call you to remain ever true, faithful, and being guided forth in my way. Now I say that men are ever ranting and declaring how much they must take the nation back from me. But I say for all of their declarations, they themselves are not abiding in me. But I say they are looking merely for a lifestyle, they are looking merely for what they project to be better times, they are not looking for me. And I say they want to preserve a way of living when really the same is what brought them to ruination as they are. And I say they think if they can regain the former hypocrisies, they will be able to go on in the placid state they were in. But I say the tragedy is they've missed the mark, for they themselves have not returned unto me. I say this day of men do not return to me, there will be no righteousness to be found. For I say amongst men there is evil and wickedness, plotting and scheming, undermining and murdering on every hand. And I say when men are trusting in men, they are trusting in lies. And I say when men are looking to that which men can bring forth as their solution, they are looking to deception. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be deceived, but I say that I call you to be guided forth. That is, in the straight and narrow way of my truth, my light, my mercy revealed. And I say that I call you to be thankful that you can indeed be purposed in me, directed, uplifted, and instructed in the blessedness, the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide. Now I say this day, count it a privilege to keep on believing, to keep on receiving, to keep being guided forth by me. And I say, come under privilege to be directed in that which I give you time and again. For I say that I will give unto you the truth, the light, the mercy revealed day after day. And I say that I will give unto you the hope, the peace, and the strength that I provide. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to, that you will continue to believe, to trust, to obey. And let it be me that you can follow after, for I say that I give unto you the way of my life. For I say, if you are continuing steadfast, then I say you will not be made ashamed. For I say that I, the living God, will reveal my blessedness, my mercy, my truth, and my life to those who are ever trusting, hoping, and looking to me. I say this day, be glad for the privilege to keep on looking unto me, to keep on believing in me, and being guided forth by me. And I say, when it is me, the living God, that you will keep your focus upon, you are directed each day. And yes, you are given the instruction of life, the truth, and the hope, the mercy that I provide. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way that is righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope provided.
Now I say this day, let it be me that you look to, let it be me that you will follow after and seek to please, and let it be me who will prove to be the life source unto thee time and again. For I say you are not meant to grow weary of well-doing, you are meant to continue in me. And I say you are not meant to be as the foolish who throw themselves into the arms of demons because I do not give unto them what they think they should have. But I say they are short-sighted fools who do not even see the end of their nose because of what? Because they are full of pride and self-importance, vain conceit, and literally blinded by the God of this world. Then they demand and command of me, but I say that I, the living God, do not hearken unto them. For I say, when you see the fools who are wise in their own conceit, know they are headed to a fall. For I say that they will fall down, be overwhelmed, overtaken, and devoured. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will continue to believe upon, to trust, to follow after day by day. And let it be me who will give to you my righteousness revealed. For I say that I will give unto you my truth, my light, my strength, and my mercy day by day. And I say that I will give unto you such as you need, for I am well able. Now I say this day when you see men and women who are under my wrath, and you hear them and they're complaining and murmuring and whining on every hand, why is it so? I say it is because they are receiving their just rewards. That is, it is me, the living God, who is returning unto them exactly what they deserve for their mistreatment of me. And I say, when you see the ones who have acted in a way that is ugly, perverse, and wicked towards others and me, know they do not get by. For I say that I do return unto all exactly what they deserve. And I say that you do not even need to doubt, because vengeance is mine. And I say that I repay, and I repay, and I repay men and women when they will choose their way. That is, when they will choose the way of darkness, the way of iniquity, and the way that is corruption before me. I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to live in corruption, but I've called my people to come forth in the light. And I say that I've called them to be uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the blessedness of who I am. And I say that I've called my people to be thankful that each and every day they can be brought forth by me, and given the newness of life, the strength, the truth, and the mercy that I provide. I say this day, be glad to be serving me, be glad to be guided by me. For I say, the more wicked the times become, the more that men gravitate to wickedness, all to their own destruction. And I say that a man may trust in his own righteousness, but I say, in the pressure of the times, the same will dissipate quickly. And I say that he will find himself dissolved into the mass of wicked doers, just simply being one of the same. And I say that all of his so-called righteousness is nothing but filthy rags. I say this day when you see a man or a woman who is full of their own importance, who is full of self-righteous indignation because they are falsely esteeming themselves to be better than they are, no, they are fools before me. For I say, while they will indeed whisper and point the finger and gossip and backbite and devour, I say they will be shown to be the fools that they are. For I say they are trusting in themselves and in the same they are trusting in lies. I say do not, absolutely do not have confidence in self, but let your confidence be in me. And I say be ever hoping in me, believing in me, and you are guided forth in my way. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the mercy, and the light of who I am. And yes, you are uplifted, for I shall uplift you and bring you forth. I say thank me and praise me for the privilege you've been given to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me this day. And thank me and praise me that in thee you are guided, directed, and given the truth that I provide. That is, the way that is righteousness, truth, and mercy day by day. The way that you gain by repenting before me. But I say to the proud, the defiant, the way of my wrath is ever revealed day after day unto them. Book of Proverbs, Chapter 1 How long, O simple one, will you love being a simple? How long will scoffers delight in their scoffing and fools hate knowledge? If you turn at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit to you. I will make my words known to you. Because I have called, and you refuse to listen, but stretched out my hand, and no one has heeded, because you have ignored all my counsels, and would have none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when terror strikes you, when terror strikes you like a storm, and your calamity comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you, then they will call upon me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but will not find me. 
because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, would have none of my counsel and despised all my reproof. Therefore they shall eat the fruit of their way and have their fill of their own devices. For the simple are killed by their turning away, and the complacency of fools destroys them. But whoever listens to me will dwell secure and will be at ease without dread of disaster. It's something the Lord did. We can't do nothing about it, but just pray for us and, and hope we, you know, don't get any more hard rain.